Let me take you back to the mid-1800s when wealthy landowners were the Aussie equivalent of nobility. A splendid homestead was the symbol of their lofty status. And you could not get a better example than Brayside between Warwick and Stanthorpe. Scottish-born pastoralist and politician William Allen built it. He was a man of influence who entertained regularly in his elegant country home. But times change and a century or so later, Brayside was a broken shell until businessman Lloyd Ernst came along. About three years ago, this property became on the market. We came down here and it was a, you know, fairly neglected at that particular stage and, you know, these old homes require a lot of work. We just fell in love with it, my wife and I, and uh, we just started to have a look at what the process was. You know, fairly extensive amount of white ant damage and uh, when you find these places, it's really about a passion because this is a, a wooden homestead where, you know, you, you just don't see these anymore. They've all burnt down, you know, 100 years ago. When they're not relaxing here themselves, Lloyd and his wife Sally offer Brayside as a guest house. Look, where we modelled this place around, I guess, is really that French chateau or that Tuscan villa. And it, uh, these are sort of places where you take a group of friends away for the weekend and, and sit around and, and, and enjoy a great place. And that's what we're trying to do, this Australian version of that Tuscan villa or French chateau. That means that you and your party get exclusive use of the homestead. Exquisite lodgings for up to four couples. And if more friends join you, there are two cottages on the property. Smaller quarters, but with the same five-star luxury. Grand? Yes. But behind it all, Brayside is a genuine cattle property. And that makes station manager Darren a busy man. When he's not chasing stock, you can enlist his talents as a country chef. Oh, Darren, bit of real bush cooking. What have we got, mate? Yeah, mate, we've got a few baked potatoes and baked pumpkin. We'd be eating lamb out here, yeah, wouldn't we? Yeah, a lovely leg of lamb here. Oh, uh, have a look at that. Just how I like it. Beautiful. Oh, Sharon, thank you very much. Slab hut and silverware. Yep, this is country dining. Brayside style. You can tell that's been cooked in a camper. You could, of course, cook your own meal. After lunch, stroll beside the creek, jump on a mountain bike or, dare I say it, tennis anyone? Live like the landed gentry or get back to basics. It's your choice. And Lloyd's suggesting that tonight's dinner's going to be a bit of a fancy affair, so I'd better give myself a bit of a spruce up. Now, I could have used my ensuite inside the homestead, but how could I resist this? Brother Dickie, you're the one. Brayside is beautiful in daylight, but after dark, it sparkles. Evening is when you can really spoil yourself here. Butler service at dinner is one option for your Brayside experience. The echo of a more elegant time which is exactly what Lloyd and Sally Ernst had in mind. So, Sal, on a night like this, we hark back to an old era, an era when, I guess, this homestead was, was first built. You know, we've got beautiful china, great glasses, great service. Is that the sort of thing that you're trying to instill? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, this is a little piece of luxury. And you can imagine, in the 1870s, you know, it's still very old English. You know, famous politicians um, at, you know, owned this place and the fabulous parties that they would have been having at that time. Mind you, they had to go by horse and cart, so it, it was a lot longer for them than the two and a half hour drive out from Brisbane here. But unless you take a helicopter, in which case it's 45 minutes. <laughs> and you can spend more time with your friends if you get your butler, so. <laughs> Brayside is well within the reach of all of the Granite Belt's attractions, including award-winning wineries. Exclusive use of the homestead starts from $550 per night, depending on numbers in your party 
and how long you stay. Or stay in one of the cottages from $290 per night. Camp oven meals and butler service are optional extras. For more information to help plan your next break, visit us online and check out the Queensland Holidays, RACQ and Travel Train Holidays websites. Well, after a very indulgent evening, I think I'm about to have the best sleep of my life. Take a look at this. Nine pillows, no less. Goose down. We've got the imported handmade Chinese silk duna cover, the king size bed. I've got the monogrammed complimentary pyjamas. All of this comes together as the first class bed experience here at Brayside and you can bet that it lives up to its name. That's all we've got time for on the show today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Seven News up next. The Great South East tomorrow at 5.30. Don't forget that. And I'll see you next Saturday for more Queensland Weekend. Until then, have a good one. Sweet dreams.